Hey, Jeremy here. We are here at Home Depot to locate some foam core boards. Uh, uh, people ask me, hey, where do you find those at Home Depot? And I was like, uh, I think they're in building materials, but we're going to go ahead and verify that. So here we are at the, I think this is the Arvada Home Depot. We're in the same aisle with the sheetrock. Uh, next over is all the the wood and that kind of stuff, but all the she, uh, uh, like uh, joint compound and raw sheetrock powder and the corner strips and that kind of stuff are over here. Next over is concrete, and here's the aisle that we want. Uh, got like Mr. Uh, Mr. Pink Panther and all that in here. Got some assorted ladders more ladders, more insulation, lots of insulation, small insulation, large insulation, and these are the foam core boards. So like somebody mentioned, some of the ones have that uh, shiny surface on them, and I don't think that those are too bad, because honestly, I mean, if the whole point is to reflect light and get a lot of light going, then you know, silver works great, especially if you don't have a lot of light, and most of it is a little harsher than just like white. Yeah, sure. But if it's, if you're trying to get the most amount of light from a, like a three by three or a four by four window, like this is, this is the way to go. But yeah, it's a touch harsher, but I am fairly certain that if you wanted to make sure it wasn't so harsh or whatever, you could take some paint and paint over it or whatever else but keep in mind that on the back side of it it's still white it has lettering on it but it's still white and if you wanted to not get the thick stuff see this stuff is only you know half an inch it's really not that thick in comparison to some of the thicker stuff here um, I have not tried some of the smaller boards like this um, it probably worked pretty good. Cause, let me see here. Let's see if I can get some on me and off of me shots here. So this is off. That's on. Don't know if you can see the effect on that, but more than likely this is going to have a color cast you yeah, have to deal with in post processing or whatever because it's you know Pepto Bismol colored. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be fine, but you're just going to have to deal with it in post. Which, if you don't want to spend 15 hours in Photoshop working on all this stuff, this might not be the thing to go. Like me personally, I don't use Photoshop at all. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's some smaller sections of it. So this is a, it's like a two foot, like four foot section with the silver on the back. I wonder if we can do that. All right, ready? Is there a smaller piece? Should be, but... All right, whatever. So this is, I'm gonna have it long ways. This is no reflection with reflection. This is the white side of the print. None reflected, okay? Now, flip it as the silver side. None reflected. None reflected. So as you can see, make a mess, clean it up. So as you can see, you could see that difference between the white and the silver. I'm sure even this little android can tell the difference between how much light there is. But that's going to be the ticket: is making sure that you have the quality of light that you want. But you could always spread up. You know, it's the surface area that you need, not necessarily the material. So if you wanted to put like a, uh, you know, flat sheet, a white flat sheet over the top of that silver and experiment with what kind of quality of light you get out of it, that'd be fine. Without playing with it, because you'll find that like something that works for somebody like Sue Bryce doesn't work for you in the size environment that you have. She has, you know, her studio space and we're trying to work out of that living room and stuff. You're gonna have to find out what works for you and roll with it because there's no other answer. Super I said, can I show up to your house and give you lighting solutions? Um, I don't know, I might ask me. <laughs> I might come to your house and tell you what I would do. But, you know, I have 
I like dark and dramatic stuff. I don't, I don't do light stuff. Like, oh, how cute my baby is. Yeah, you'll never see me doing those shots. I'll, I'll recommend you guys for that. I need some light bulbs. I want to mention one more thing here. That uh, the tile board for white seamless, it's back here. Let's just let me see if we can get the label. Like 14, 14 bucks a sheet. It's in the aisle with all the trim that's up and down and all of that fancy stuff. Like the V groove stuff um, is right above that, but on that bottom, at least in this store. Why is Hogwarts? Maybe we'll have a, a picture shown what that's all about. But yeah, just a matter of what can I use. Alright, see you later.